what what is going on what are we doing here we giving you a recorded video man i had to dust off the record button i forgot how to do that <laughs> <laughs> look you guys see the shirt oh you see the shirt you know what time it is yes eight is the way that's the hashtag that's what time it is hashtag eight is the way go ahead and get you one of these shirts over at lbhtshow.com slash shop okay i know that's i know it's fire i know you uh you, you want one of those so go ahead and treat yourself to one of those okay but yes we are here look this is a kyla store you see the ticker it says kyla murray gets paid but you know all roads lead back to this guy yes so kyla murray um who held out and said he wanted 50 million dollars uh well he didn't say that but that was that was what was rumored and at the start of it, um, people were kind of clowning him a little bit. Like, yeah, right, you're not getting $50 million. But us over here said, yes, he will. Not only will he get $50 million, so will Lamar. Okay? That's what that's what I would be asking for if I was Lamar. And at the time we were saying it, it was still a little too high, right? Dak Prescott was the highest paid QB for, for a couple weeks. He had $40 million guaranteed. And then, um, and then, um, uh, who was next? Pat Pat Mahomes got his deal, which is like forty five. Josh Allen came in like around forty three million, um, and Kyle said I want fifty, and people were like yeah right. But you know this off season, um, you got you got Aaron Rodgers at fifty million guaranteed. You got you got Deshaun Watson who who's got his whole contract guaranteed two hundred thirty million guaranteed. So Lamar is the last one to sign. Lamar has been holding out. People have been wondering, hey, um, is he making the right move? Uh, he should should he get an agent? He's just signed already. You know, what if he misses out on money? Well, Colin Murray just got his contract uh today, just signed a brand new contract. Uh, let's go over the details. What we what we got, B. Yeah, so Kyler signed a five year extension, uh, came in at 230.5 million, uh, with 160 guaranteed, and that puts him at 46.1 per season, his annual uh, average, which is just slightly more than Deshaun Watson got on his uh, fully guaranteed contract. Right. And that has uh, Kyler Murray now under contract for the next seven seasons. Uh, he'll be a free agent in 2028 or after yeah. 2028. And look, Kyle Murray is a very good quarterback. Um, he is their franchise quarterback. They recognized it early, right? Mm -hmm. um, they they were not going to try to let this thing drag out. Um, I, I don't even understand the criticism of this, right? People were saying, "Oh, well, he hasn't won a playoff game." So what? He's played what two years in the league, right? He's played about his third year. Um, look, man, he's still young, but he's shown enough for that organization to say. This is our quarterback. This is the guy that we're going to build around. Let's not play around with the money. Let's pay him now. And I'm going to be honest, 46 million next year is going to look like a bargain, right? Yeah, it's going to look like a bargain. It, you know, I, I think the, the, he's at, he's played three years as uh, he's coming up on his fourth year. Three years. Um, okay. The thing is, you know, the Cardinals have had a tendency to fall off in the second half of the season and they yeah. got, they got beat pretty bad in their in their playoff game this past year, right? They did. So, you know, there, there are people who kind of question if he's the guy. But if you're Arizona and you you believe he's the guy, then you absolutely give him this deal, and they got him at a discount. Um, you know, the rumor was he wanted fifty or fifty five million. If they had waited until his contract was actually up, that's uh, probably you know he would have been getting that or more. Uh, so they went ahead and they got the extension done at a, a very reasonable uh, cost for the team at 46.1 million on average uh, for Kyler, you know, he gets his money right away, gets it right up front. So I'm sure he's happy about that. He's actually uh, making <laughs> just slightly less than the entire payroll of the, uh, the baseball team that, that drafted him. Who he'd be playing for right now. Was it the A's? Is it I believe it was, I believe it was the A's. Let me check real quick here. I think it was the A's. Uh, it was yes the the Oakland Athletics their entire payroll forty seven point seven million Kyler now making forty six point one per year 
so obviously, you know, he made the money right ball. Aren't there. they aren't, yes. aren't they the money ball people? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> money ball um, part two coming to theaters near you. <laughs> <laughs> I just, you know, I don't, I don't really get the criticism unless you just think Kyler Murray can't play. Unless you think he's a guy who who's just not a a long term starter in the NFL, I don't really get the the criticism of it. The prices always go up; they never go down. Yeah, let's let's take a look at Kyler Murray's stats real quick. Yeah, so Kyler Murray uh, last year they went nine and or he went nine and five as a starter. Uh, he played fourteen games. Mm-hmm. He had he completed 69.2% of his passes, 3,787 yards, 24 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. So, I mean, not you know overwhelming numbers, uh, but not bad numbers either. Another 400, before, no, 423 yards rushing and five touchdowns he added. Mm-hmm. And he's been he's been pretty consistent over his career. Uh last the, the year before, 3,900 yards, 26 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. His rookie year, 3,700 yards, 20 touchdowns, 12 interceptions. And so also you kinda, add, mm-hmm. But I also want to add, you know, tw- you know, I, I like to count the rushing stats. People act like, oh, yeah. you know, rushing. Us. But, you know, in 2020, he had he added 819 yards rushing. And mm-hmm. um, hold on. And 544 yeah. in his rookie year. Uh, his second year, he had 11, also 11 touchdowns rushing. rushing. Touchdowns. So, yeah. so yeah, that, 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 that year is obviously an outlier as far yeah. as rushing goes. And yeah. you don't really want your quarterback running that much anyway, but you he, know, he, has that, uh, he has that ability. Um, so, I mean, he, he's shown that, you know, over the first three years, he's, he's a good quarterback. He's a good starting quarterback, you know, and Arizona, I mean, they locked him up, so they did what they had to do. Their problem now, I think is going to be getting rid of Cliff Kingsbury. <laughs> uh, and so they can take the next step as a team. Yeah. So, um, look, it, it was the right move for the Cardinals. Congrats to the Cardinals for recognizing that's your, you know, your quarterback that you, you want to build around and not playing games and, and you got him locked up. Um, you gave up a lot to get him, man. Right. Like you, you wasted, I mean, you, you spent a high pick on Josh Rosen. Speaking of Josh Rosen, he, he, he just got signed to the Browns over Cam Newton. We're going to talk about that another time, but Josh Rosen got one year with you guys, um, and then he's traded, right? So you wasted a very high draft pick on Josh Rosen. Then you turn right around the very next year, spend that number one pick on Kyler Murray. So you made a heavy investment already in, at the quarterback position, and now you got somebody that you like. Um, don't play around with it. Pay him, right? Uh, there's never a number – that's too high when you have the quarterback that you like. Now you're always going to have the attractors to say, "Oh, he ain't worth it. Oh, he ain't this. Oh, he ain't that, or whatever." Not everybody can be an elite quarterback, right? Because that's what we're talking about. Oh well, he's not. He's getting paid like he's top five, but he's not top five. Next year he ain't going to be top five paid. Yeah. Okay, like like next year. That this is how contracts work. It's not about are you top five, top ten, or whatever. It's about are you a franchise quarterback. Um, and who's better than you when when you hit the market, right? It's all about you know what what your market value is. We talk about that all the time. Market value, and his market value dictates that he gets that money because you don't want him hitting free agency, right? Um, now, good for them, and also good for Lamar Jackson, who just I, I don't know, maybe it was just it was just maybe it was a coincidence that he just happened to show up to to Ravens training camp. The rookie camp starts this week. Veterans camp starts next week. But he happened to show – he just showed up early, B. He showed up early, which seemed like – it seemed like minutes after it was reported that uh, Kyle Murray got his extension done. I I mean, (laughs) what are the odds? You know, and and you would think that that means uh, they they may be close to getting a deal done. Uh, That better be what it means, right, because – Baltimore needs to stop playing around. I'm looking right now through the the Cardinals draft history. Uh, it's not pretty when it comes to quarterback, right? Like you just mentioned Josh Rosen, but I'm trying to find the last time they had a good quarterback who they drafted. And oh, um, <laughs> it's, uh, <laughs> no. it's been a very long time. Uh, yeah. may, maybe you maybe you make an argument for Jake Plummer back in '97, uh, but did they it, draft him? Yeah. But it's 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 actually longer than that. You know, he he kind of turned it around later on for for other teams. But for the Broncos, yeah. 
Yeah. So the the thing is, this is why you know the Cardinals had to pay Kyler Murray, right? You the, the choice is either you pay Kyler Murray what he wants, or you go back to being irrelevant because you don't have a quarterback because you can't draft one because they're really difficult to find. Yeah. Uh, Baltimore is looking at the same thing right now. Baltimore obviously had a had a good quarterback more recently in Joe Flacco, who who they drafted. Uh, but if you keep playing around with Lamar and you keep not uh, getting the deal done, you keep not wanting to give him his money. And it goes down, a, you know, it takes a bad turn. It goes down a bad road where Lamar ends up somewhere else. Who knows when you're going to be back? Yeah. Who knows when you're going to find that quarterback and get back to relevance? Yeah. Now, we've talked on our show a few times, quite a few times about Lamar <laughs> and, and what he should get paid. Now, I maintain from early last year when they're talking about uh, trying to get a deal done that he should be asking for 50 mil per year, right? And at the time, it seemed high, right? And people weren't were thinking that he was going to get that. A lot of people were thinking, ah, oh, maybe just over 40, right? Now it's just like, yeah, no. If he plays out this season, it's it's going to be more than that. So give him more now because the price is only going to go up, right? Yeah. Now, uh, since then, I've said, you know, since since, since the uh, Deshaun Watson deal where he's getting 230 mil fully guaranteed, I'm like, he needs 250 mil fully guaranteed, right? That, that That's my stance. And I'm sure um, that's been the talk behind closed doors because now we know that Lamar and the team have been talking, right? Um, Some numbers have been exchanged, and I'm certain that Lamar is looking for something closer to that. But now uh, that he has waited, um, uh, despite the fact that, you know, all his detractors at at Pro Football Focus and Stephen A. Smith and, you know, all your your usual blowhards in, in, in media, um saying that you know uh it's ill-advised for him to not get an agent and you know his mother you know just taking advice of his mother is not it's not the right thing and all this stuff um it seems like he's outsmarted everybody because just sitting around simply just waiting and not talking to the team initially just saying hey i'm not even gonna pick up the phone Mm -hmm. we'll talk when i'm ready to talk just doing that has made him a significant uh amount more than what he would have made had he signed last year. And I just want to pull some numbers here real quick. All right. I'm going to pull this tweet from Jameson Hensley. It says the highest paid QBs average per is broken down by average per year and guaranteed money. So you see it right here. Aaron Rodgers, number one at 50.2 million. Callum Murray, who just signed 46.1 million. Deshaun Watson, 46 million. Pat Mahomes, 45 million. And at the time, Pat Mahomes, his, his, his contract was crazy, right? Mm-hmm. 10 years, 450 mil. We're like, yo, that, that was the highest Highest paid Q, uh, athlete in sports history, right? Was, was no, that, no, no. Was not highest paid athlete, but he was the highest paid uh, football player and by football far player. quarterback. Yeah. Uh, and now a couple and, years later, he's fourth. Yeah. Yeah. And, and now Josh Allen and, and then Josh Allen fifth at 43 million. And then you look at guaranteed money. You know, we just discussed Deshaun Watson, 230 million. Kyler Murray, 160 million. And Aaron Rodgers, 150.8 million. And he asked, where would uh, Jackson eventually land? The answer is somewhere in between that. Okay. Um, let me pull this down. Yeah, that yeah, that. somewhere, somewhere in between that is where he's going to land between the one and two spot. It's going to be a combination of that first graphic and the second graphic. Now, I think th- a lot of people are mad at the Deshaun Watson deal, right? Steve Bashai has talked about that. A lot of owners do not like the fact that he got that much fully guaranteed. Because mm-hmm. nobody else wants to do that. And if you look at Kyler Murray's uh, number, 160 million guaranteed, that's 70 million less than what Deshaun Watson is getting. I think that's more b- around what teams are comfortable with. They want a little wiggle room, right? So I I say, okay, you're not going to give Lamar 230 mil fully guaranteed or 250 mil fully guaranteed, right? Nobody wants to give that kind of money. Um like the Browns did for for Deshaun Watson, but the next highest one is 160. Lamar can say, "Hey, I need 180 fully guaranteed or 200 fully guaranteed," and then you need to give me an average of 51 mil per year. I need to come in a little bit more than Aaron Rodgers, right? I think it's going to be a combination of that: more money per year, a little less um, guaranteed. And I say a little less, I mean a little less than Deshaun Watson. So. I, I think that ultimately he's gonna he's gonna slot in right above uh, Kyler Murray. I 
you know, it, it, it all depends on when exactly he gets the deal done, right? If they get the deal done, you know, in the next week or so, I don't, I don't think he'll hit the 50 million average per year. Um, right. That's more if, if he, you know, they, they keep playing that Russian roulette and, and, you know, let him play out the season on his, on his fifth year option, it's going to be over 50. Uh, so at, right now, if they get the deal done in the next week, I'm going to say five years, 240 million, 180 guaranteed. Uh, and that would work out to about 48 per 40. year. Okay. Okay. Which would put them, you know, closer to, to, to Aaron Rodgers, uh, but, you know, between Kyler and Aaron and, and, you know, a good bit beyond Kyler uh, in terms of guaranteed money, but not in the, oh my God, I'm, I'm terrified territory for the owners of 230, which yeah, that would put why. him, that put him at a number two spot and fully guaranteed in, money. Yeah. In both. In both. Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I mean, it looks like uh, Lamar Jackson did exactly what he was supposed to do without a without a uh, agent. I mean, look, you know, we, we haven't crossed the finish line yet, but it's, it's I mean, you know, that looks inevitable that he's going to get somewhere around that. I would be stunned if he got something uh, far less than that. Right. Yeah. Um, and I think the Ravens understand that now. I do believe that's why he came in early, because we were just talking on our, our live show um about the possibility of him holding out and not showing not showing up the training camp um the fact that he's there early tells me that one you know like look the execs know before we know about these deals so i'm pretty sure that came down the pipeline and they said all right listen you win okay uh come in let's get this ironed out and let's get you signed so we're not it's not hanging over our head because all that has happened and we've been saying on the show all that all that's happened is every day that you wait, the price goes up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the every day that they've waited, yes, the price has just gone up. Even through even through training camp, the price can go up. Mm-hmm. So so no, don't let it drag out anymore. Get here early, in fact, and let's get you signed. So I yeah. expect I expect something to uh, go down here in the next pro- probably few days, even. 